We were recently invited on board New Stand Down by Holland America. Now it was a bit of a whirlwind visit, so we recorded a ship tour just to see if it would entice us to book and whether it would entice you to book. Hi, it's Linz from Sweet Natured. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together. So yes, New Stand Down ship tour. So let's see what we can see. Well, as you said, Linz, we were invited on to New Staten Dam by Holland America when she was in port for the day in Dover. Yes. It was just for about five hours. Uh-huh. So it was uh, a real whiz around. It flew by. It did. At one point, we got about an hour and a half to sort of go off and have a wander. Yes. Uh, and film. So I went off and did the ship tour, which is what we're looking at now. And you went off and did some other bits and pieces. I explored. You explored. So a lot of this you haven't seen at all. Well, not with you. I did I did see some of it, but not all of it. And I'm sure you're going to surprise me with some things. I'm sure I will. Because normally when we do the ship tour, we've been on, on board cruising for sort of three, four days or maybe mm-hmm. longer at that point. Yes. So we know where we're going. I'm wandering around here aimlessly, <laughs> <laughs> just heading in a general direction. Okay. But we're starting up on deck 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is the highest part of the ship. Yes. I get the impression when it's not in clouded over that there may have been some beds out on this area. Maybe, yes. And they'd also just um, they'd done the transatlantic, so maybe they'd sort of just strapped them up for safety. I suspect so. Coming down just one deck below that, onto deck 12, Very- is... Oh, OK. I get There's it. There's no 13. No, I get it. I get <laughs> it. You were confused. No, no, I wasn't. Um is the retreat cabana area. Now, this isn't like a retreat on something like... Um, Princess. Princess. This is where you can book a cabana for the day mm-hmm. or the entire cruise. Wow. So I think from a day it started at $75 for two people. That's not bad for a cabana. No. Um, and for like a seven-night cruise, it was about $500. Okay. But again, that's for two yeah, people yeah, for, yeah. for a week. They and can be that a day, can't they, on the, some ships? They can. Well, we saw them over that price on Celebrity. Yeah. So, nice little area. Mm-hmm. As I said, they're all cabanas. Yes. Um, and it's got a little hot tub in there I and some it. drinks. I saw that looks nice. Uh, they don't have a dedicated food menu in here. Okay. But they will bring you food from any restaurant um, or eatery that's open. Okay. That's um, nice. So, if you fancy an ice cream, they'll get you an ice cream. I like this. This um, is nice. Yeah, and there is um, bar service that they'll bring you in there as well. Yeah. But it's a nice little area. It's mm-hmm. not huge. No. I was saying, that, that's the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you were up those steps there, which is blocked off, yeah. that's back up to deck 14 where we just were a second ago. Yeah. So we're literally... No, I like that. Right below. That gets a point. They can have a point. Okay, one point for <laughs> Holland America. Into the crow's nest. Yeah. A very sort of... Familiar name, yes, especially if you're on like PO, PO. yeah, but nothing like it. Okay, <laughs> so when I went in here at this particular part, there were a lot of people sort of playing cards, playing board games. There is a okay. little bar area, yes, but it's not a bar. No, it feels I'm not, I don't mean to be disrespect, disrespectful here, it looks a bit airporty here. It's not, not comfy lounges or anything like that, is it's. Yeah, it looks I get more what you mean. Practical. It looks more like a sort of first class lounge. Yes. At Heathrow. Yes. Or, or other airports are available. Yeah. Um, and then right next to it, you've got the art studio. So I just get the impression this this whole area is used workable. for sort of arts and crafts yeah. and, and yes. that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, as opposed to what we think of as a crow's nest on, on PL. Which is a bar. Which is a bar with music. So very, very different. Yeah. But. Looked a, a lovely area for, for doing what they're doing. Especially if you're doing, as these people have done, a transatlantic and you want activities yeah, during the day. absolutely. Oh, hello, <laughs> Tristan. Uh, Tristan from Cruise, Cruise Boys, Boys, who was having a wander around. We did start off in a similar area and then rapidly lost ourselves. <laughs> okay, well, that's you, between you and Tristan, I wonder. <laughs> oh, I'm going into, further into that. Just while we're having a quick wander around the stairs, would you like to take a second to invite people to subscribe? I would love to invite you to subscribe. Thank you, thank you, if you already have done. Honestly, it, it makes my day when it... It does. You smile, don't you? I do. I, in fact, I, I go, ooh. And, of course, you can follow along <laughs> on our other social media, which is all the main social media, yes. at Sweet Nature. Yes. 
anyway, back on with the wander around. Uh, okay, list deck. lovely, lovely. Nice what? little shuffle board. Yeah, yeah, I like a bit of shuffle board. I nearly forgot the name of it then for a split second. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> so there were a couple of areas where they were doing some work during the day today while they were in port. It always happens. It do, well, the, it's a lot easier to do it when you're in port not moving yes. than when you're going through the sea when it's a bit windier. Yeah. Um, but it looked like just standard sort of yeah. maintenance. So there's sports deck. Sport deck. This is where they do the pickleball. Okay. Once again, pickleball proving Very to be popular. on virtually every cruise ship now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and they'd set it up uh, for a tournament today. So if anyone wanted to play on the day that we were wandering around it, uh, they could do. Yes. Um, I would have loved to do that. One, there was no one else playing, so I'd have been running around both sides of the net. Oh, no. uh, and too hard to do this. Okay. Little outside gym area, which reminded me of Virgins. Yes. Yeah, no, you're right with with the outside equipment. Yeah. 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 Because we'll go down to the gym shortly. A gentleman there taking pictures of the white cliffs of Dover. Yeah. The be- yeah, they had they were some... more grey that day. No, well, they had some sun on them, so they were white. They, they were, were white. yeah. Yeah. Um, what you can see to the right there, this is obviously a little jogging track. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting, when we get further down, it has got a full promenade. Oh. So you're not having people having to just walk on this one. People are just, I guess, yes. running on it. Yeah. There was no one when I went. Yeah. But to the right there, the roof that you can see is above the pool. Yes. So in cooler weather, like the day that we were on here, uh-huh. um, they can close it up. Well, and I it's mean, more solarium I can understand that because Holland, America are very big in Alaska, aren't they? So this, when I was wandering around, I was like, oh, this is a lovely ship for Alaska. Yeah, they do a lot more... I'll say expedition, but I don't mean it in the way that no. like, Hurtigruten do. I love But the they go to yeah. sort of uh, more wilder places, they go like Arctic further Circle field, and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yeah, they go, and they also do Panama. It, it's, they have some fabulous, fabulous itineraries. They do, yeah. And this is the inside of said area. The, it was lovely in here. I it, did look in here. Absolutely gorgeous. I didn't put my fingers in the water, though. Did you not? No, I didn't get that. No that water test? Down. No, I... I sh- I'm, I'm I'm so sorry that I have let you, the team you've let down. everyone down. You've let yourself down, and you've let all the viewers down. But I, I thought it was really nice. The some nice padded seats in around, which you don't often see. No. In sort of the inside the areas, you normally see them in mm-hmm. like retreat areas, and I loved the sort of trio of hot tubs at the back. Do you know what it made me think of? What? The the soap. The soap. Yeah. The the soap imperial leather. Why? Because that's so random. <laughs> there used to be those adverts yeah. where there was the family all had a, a, a varying size of baths, and they would they would soap up with imperial leather, and that's. I think you may have just dreamt this. I don't think so. No. Well, Imp- if you remember imperial Lindsay's fever dream, no, no, imperial uh, let leather. Let us know in the comments. Imperial leather. That 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 bath. That, but either way, I liked it. I liked it too. <laughs> For differing reasons. Yeah. The uh, New York Deli and Pizza, you can oh. see here where they were making the pizza. Yes. I mean, you've just seen us walk past. Incredibly popular. And it had a massive pizza list. Mm-hmm. Um, normally, you see the pizzerias on board and they might have like five, six pizzas. Yeah. This had dozens. Oh, lovely. I didn't... Oh, look at this gentleman here. Oh, I he's very smiley. Oh, I love it. it. So I, I love a poolside pizza. The little high score area that I was just in before you snuck up, uh, up behind is me. Is that me? Yeah, that, that was you and Justin. Um, that area there during the, the day is like a hangout for uh, teens. Yes. But in the evening, they open up to families and it's got like skateboard and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's nice. So and it's for, hence yeah. the high score. Yeah. Oh, I like that. that. They get another point for that. I know. <laughs> Anything that has skateboard that Lindsay can get. I out. love, I don't know if it's. It's a... your one main skill. It is my only skill, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> in that In that area. This is, uh, I think it's called the high dive. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, the diving. The diving, oh, and I like that. We, we've heard repeatedly that the burgers from there oh, yes. are phenomenal. Yeah. We've seen other vloggers that have been on and said how good they are. Yeah. And I saw some people eating. I would definitely try one of those. They, they look delicious. Yes. Yeah. This entire deck, though, I really did like. Now, it is the main pool mm-hmm. on it, so it's not like it's got a separate yeah. pool area and slow. There's the wake pool at the back that we're going to get to. Yes. But this is pretty much the, the main one. pool, yes. So whilst it looks really big for like a solarium style one. Yes. That is your main one. Yes, yeah, so it's going to so, be yeah, it's going to be get yourself 
organised. Yeah, I of. suspect, especially when you're looking at the transatlantic, mm-hmm. that that's a very popular area very yes. early in the morning. Yeah. If you remember when we were on Celebrity, there were people getting up there at like 6 a.m. And we, I mean, we did. To be fair, one day we did. Yeah, because they put the clocks back. So it was 7 yeah. to us physically, but not in It was time. right for us. Yeah. And we were awake. Yeah. But yeah, I would imagine that's a very popular yes. area there. Yeah. We're just walking down to the other side of it. and oh, oh, Tom and Dom. Tom and Dom travel oh. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few of us on this day on there. Yeah, they, they always happen. Uh, you got the little Medi Spa where you can book. <laughs> nice. I didn't look at treatments in there. Did you not? No. I thought you might have gone and checked them out. No, I was, yeah. Uh, but we're coming down to the sort of gym and the fitness class areas. Mm-hmm. And I was impressed at the size of the little studios that they had. Yeah. So had a spin class set up there, um, and then the gym itself. This looks nice. Really good quality equipment. I say even in port, and this was what about two o'clock ish. We would have been filming this. Yeah. Um, quite a few people yeah. using it. Yeah, which is good down the port day as well. When it's well, it is especially when they're at the latter end of the yeah. cruise because normally people start off in the gym. Yeah. With the best in intent. And then by the time we get to the end of the cruise, we one day so. we're going to have to set our minds to it and and do a full cruise where we where we have working all the lovely out and food and drinks, and then we do exercise and see what we are at the start weight wise and what we are at the end. We will do that one day. One, it one has day. to be a transatlantic, though. Yeah, somewhere we've got quite a few sea days because when you're getting off and walking about, it's different. Yeah, I mean, remember the Norwegian fjords. Queen Mary too, when we got off lighter than when we got on. Yeah, we did. That but that we were walking a lot. Oh, on I those felt ones. it as well. Uh, anyway, <laughs> back, back, back back on the top. Back on the top, not not Lindsay's sort of uh, weight treatments. Uh, another little bar. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, same as on a lot of cruise lines. Staff so friendly. Yeah. Now it does skew older by the looks of things as we're walking around, but that might be because it's a transatlantic. I think it was a transatlantic. Yeah. Um, plus, at the point that we're on it here, um, there's most of the passengers the off the ship. Are off, yes. So we did see when we were getting off at the end of the day the queue to get back on. Yeah. And that sort of age demographic was a lot wider then. Yeah, I totally you agree. Know, I saw it people was, in twenties, thirties, forties when yeah, we were getting yeah, back on yeah. then. So I think it was just people who were going, "It's miserable, we're in Dover, we don't want to get off." We've been before. We can yeah. see the cliffs. Yeah, well, the they, they've been to Canterbury before. <laughs> <laughs> How many Canterbury coaches were there? All of the Canterbury coaches I were think waiting. There were seven. For the yeah. <laughs> doesn't that, beat Benidorm. No, it doesn't. But there, there are a lot of no. excursions going up there. Sorry, darling. Where are we now? So we're in the sort of buffet-ish area, and you'll see when we get round to the other side in a second because. You'll have seen a couple of signs as I was walking through then that says the other side is open because they were just changing yes, this round. Yes, I understand. This buffet is sort of um, a cross between this one and some princesses that we did recently in Virgin mm-hmm. where it's a mixture of the galley, mm-hmm. a traditional buffet yeah. where you can go help yourself mm-hmm. and the eatery on some princess where you don't help yourself. Oh, so it's a hybrid. Yeah, which we do know people who love things like the eatery and the gallery. Galley, mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. included. I, I think that it's a really great way to move forward. Yeah. But there are others who like to be able to go yeah. help themselves. Yeah, yeah. So this one looks to have that perfect blend where there's certain oh. dishes that they prepare or, or get ready for you. Yeah. And other bits where you can dive in. You'll see when we get around the other side. I, okay, okay. But it seems like a nice... I, l- I like that. Nice way to do it. But you haven't got all those sort of big island type areas where yeah. you can get in and get buffy like on... Windjammer. No, I just saw Hen- a Henry Hoover as well. Did you like the Henry Hoover? I love the Henry Hoover. We had one for years. We did. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, uh, away from Hoover talk, <laughs> we're at the wake pool at the back now. Now, this is nice. Yeah. And again, on a nicer day than sort of the greyer Dover day, mm-hmm. uh, I would imagine this is very popular. I would imagine it's really popular for sail away as well. Yeah. Because if you think of where the main pool is, you don't really have that no. deck above, apart no. from where I walked around. Yeah. But to go look out. Yes. Whereas this is a wide sort of open area. Uh, <laughs> and it's a little bit... I know what you're laughing at there. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to say anything. Um, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Queen Mary 2 at the back. Yes. Which, 
by coincidence, this pinnacle class ship, which is what this new Staten Dam is, mm -hmm. is the same frame that the new Queen Anne is from Cunard. Oh. Now, I don't think Queen Anne's going to look anything like this. They'll, they'll have completely sort of reset, but it's the same class of ship. It's all right, okay, that's lovely. So it'll be really interesting when we go on Queen Anne, but also when we watch some people, because at the time we're recording this... Oh, towels, you can pick up, I like that. You can, some towels there. time that we're recording this, Queen Anne set sail in a few weeks on yes. the inaugural. Yeah. So I'm really interested to see how the two compare. Mm -hmm. So we're back into the other side of the uh, Buffy area. Yes. Nicely laid out. You can see that there's uh, glasses on the table, there's cutlery on there. So it's set up, ready for your, like, a main dining room. Sinks, yeah, yeah. You're not going and getting your own area. No. Bars, it will all service within there. And look at the selection of teas. <gasps> what what tea have we got there? It's Twinings. Twinings. Oh, so I like there every day. I didn't see there every day there, though. I'm sure it was there. The, it's gold. They had every type of tea that I could spot. That's good for you. Good for me, yeah. And they have coffee as well. Okay. So you'll see what I mean on here. So they've got each of these different little food stall type mm -hmm. areas where there's things behind that they will pass over to you, but also areas where you can help yourself Lovely. for making, say, nachos. I love to make nachos. <laughs> I know you do. That's why I mentioned the nachos. I love to make nachos. But then other little pieces in there, they will then make up oh, for you. What have we got? Oh, nice. And I'll show a couple of these ones just so you're getting sort of Just a for feel me, for what basically. they are. <laughs> Only if you send you that you didn't know. But they had a little vegan corner. That's lovely, yes. And I thought it was, a, it's the first time that we've been on the HAL ship. Mm -hmm. So we'd not seen this set up before. Yeah, no, this is me. The, they didn't have a lot of different cheeses there for you, but they did have the sandwiches. Oh, goodness, look at those sandwiches. I know. And they could do like toasted ones and things like that as well. And again, they do those ones if you want the simple ones straightforward and yet condiments behind nice oh i'm loving this and you can see you direct someone the guy there's like oh, one of them one well, of them one of them nice yeah i'm i'm yeah. you sold on this i'm getting there i think i'm getting <laughs> there because hal yeah. was not on our radar for our next for next year was it no it is now very very much um oh yeah, we, we only were on here for five hours, but it was one that we'd thought about, you know, that we'd like to go yeah. on at some point. Yeah. We will definitely be going on HAL next year. I don't know at what point during the year. No. But there will be a HAL cruise. We're going to have to cost it, and because that's the thing, because it, it's, it's a premium line, isn't it? It is, yeah. So I'm guessing it's a similar kind of pricing to... Similar, yeah, similar to sort of Apex and, and to be fair to some princess. You, you're in that sort of general price. Having said that, some of the other cruise lines that you might not put in that category are similar prices now we've been looking. Yeah, we have. So, you know, we saw enough on, on this sort of five-hour sneak peek mm -hmm. that it was enough to go, yeah, we'd like to try that it looks right for us yeah where we are now is in the neptune lounge mm -hmm. this is the only time you can see this because i can promise you you won't be going in when we go on our one that we're paying for because <laughs> you have to be in a neptune suite or a pinnacle suite so i hope you enjoyed that little bit because that's the last you're seeing of it for a while uh but it's a nice little sort yeah, of yeah, nice. lounge yeah, area yeah. yeah um and there were drinks in there and food in there yeah all the time lovely um but I didn't spend much time in. Can we talk about... Now, they had some bathrooms up here. Can I talk about the bathrooms? Please do, because I didn't visit... Oh, no, I visited one just before we got off. I liked that you had the lovely cotton hand towels, like in a nice restaurant. Yeah. Or on Celebrity, where you can dry your hands properly. And, yes. So, another point there. Yeah. And any other, anything fit... else? Did they have any nice... The door was one of those slow-closed doors on for the... Um, for the unisex yeah. lose, but so you have to wait. But it's not not like a, a a train door. You do close it yourself. It just close. It's a it's slow a bit close. Slow. Yeah. The area that we can see below there. Thank you for your toilet update. Thank you. Not connected to toilets mm -hmm. is BB Kings, which is part of the music walk area, and we'll see that when we go further down. Yeah, I didn't see it from that angle. You only saw it from below, didn't you? Yes. So, oh, actually, 
actually, I did go in the casino. I didn't notice. You just didn't look over the edge. No. Well, I see you in a minute again. You do? <laughs> I keep seeing you in different spots as I'm wandering around. Mm-hmm. Uh, the casino, nice-sized casino. Yeah. Um, it seemed to have all the sort of modern slot machines that you would expect, as well as the tables. Obviously, we're in port, so... It's closed. It's closed. Yeah. Um, Which is the best oh, time uh, for me to go. Uh, there's there's me again. There's you again, not spotting where the BB Kings is, isn't it? <laughs> where have I gone? No. You, you at the side. I was saying hello to you. Okay. Um, off camera. Thank you. <laughs> now, some of the artwork was gorgeous. I did notice. And it look was, at the marble, some stunning installations, wasn't it? Carpets, but it's. It's not cream on cream on beige, is it? They they not. There's a lot more colour in this. Yes, they do have like warmer accents. Um, a lot of I, dark colours as a well. A lot of dark wood, yes. Yeah, which finally it were nice. Yeah, it was uh, lighter wood. Sorry, darling, it was lighter wood in the um, state rooms, and but yeah, they, they, I like that they're not afraid of the colour. No, we're in the main theatre now. Yes, um, which is more beige. And, and grey and orange. <laughs> I've not... got to say, but you've got some yeah. orange in there. Yeah. Um, again, it's one of those semi in the round ones. But the cruise lines like, love like these now. Like on Edge Class, like on the Sphere Class with Princess. They just seem a, a path that a lot are going down. Yeah. We like them. Yeah. But I know some people like a traditional yeah. stage. We'll get a better look at the World Stage Theatre in a minute when I go down on the lower deck. Okay. Uh, and we can see in that a little mm-hmm. bit. It has a full promenade. I, I didn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of it is semi-hidden by lifeboats. Yes. So you've not got quite as good a view as on something like, say, Queen Mary. Well, I guess if you go for a walk and, and you in open water, yeah. you'll be sheltered. You will, and three lapses a mile, apparently. Okay, that's nice. Um, we're now in the Grand Dutch Cafe. This looks lovely. So this is their sort of park cafe, international cafe type area. But it really popular. Mm-hmm. Guest services over there. Mm-hmm. Then right at the bottom there is the art gallery. Oh, the art um, gallery. Which is down on deck one. I didn't bother going into it because no. it's pretty much the only thing down there apart from medical centre. Yeah. Um, so, But that's where it is. Mm-hmm. But I did like this area. It's lovely. And nice guest services were busy as well. Yeah. Uh, a very traditional guest services. I think the, there was a lot of disembarkation pre- preparation going on. That's why they were talking about... Oh, you think? Yeah. I'm sure I saw a sign to that effect. Now, where are we now? We are just walking down to where the photo gallery is. Oh, I did see this as well. Did you see the pricing? Yes, I did. (laughs) I'm curious if you had. Because that's not, unlike Princess, they don't bundle it in, do they? Not that I'm aware of, no, um, into their packages. Yeah, the Princess Premiere is built into that. Yeah. So you can get some nice big panoramic pictures, which I didn't think they were badly priced. Mm. It's the... Picture packages around the corner here. I mean, to be fair, this isn't just. How. I think this is where you. This is pretty much yeah. on any cruise line. Yeah. Um, but the photo packages for five photos start at 109. Yeah. Down to 500. Wow. Which, yeah, it is on the top side. That's some really good equipment. Is in that there where well. they follow you around, or is it just the pictures that you get with your either your backdrop or I your. I do not know. Okay. Uh, if you do know, please put it in the comments yeah. below. Yeah. Um, there, there wasn't enough information. And, no, and to but there was a lot, asked anyone. No, there was a lot of like pictures where they'd had a, a photo session rather than yeah, just you know, happened upon the could, photographer. Could well be that they're, yeah. they're more like the photo studio type. Yeah, yeah. So we're in one of the two main dining rooms now. Yes. This is the upper level, uh-huh. given away by the stairs leading down. Okay. Um, closed at the point that I went into it here because yes. it had finished lunch service. Yeah. Uh, it's massive. Yeah, and it's it's got, almost got like a 70s kind of retro vibe about it. Yeah, I mean, you get that in a few areas of the ship. Yeah. That's kind of within the styling. Mm-hmm. It's modern, but it's got that retro modern. Yeah, yeah. It's because, it, again, not afraid of colour with the yellow accents and, um, you know, the, the and glass. The big, well, I'm going to yeah. say the big glass artwork within there for the lighting mm. um, it is very prominent because it runs all the way down. Yeah. But yeah. it's a, a big old dining room. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of twos unless they were upstairs and I've uh, missed them. There all was a of lot the edges. Of, well, let's see if we can see a two. No two. 
I'm sure there were, were two. I wonder if they're upstairs. Because we like to have a, a, a table for two in the main dining room. Yeah, if we're meeting up with friends, I'm, that's fine. Oh, yeah. But if it's sort of just you and I, yeah. mainly because we'll film a little bit on we'll there. Film. And you feel a bit stupid, yeah, don't you, with people also, you don't know. Yeah, we, we have daft conversations about sci-fi and things like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're down on to deck two now. Yeah. Uh, um, walking back on the way we came, but past another couple of eatery options as well. I know, I like these lamps. I saw these lamps now. With the Farm animals. Yeah. So we have a cow. Well there spotted. Were, there was a lobster. <laughs> there were, I'm I'm making your name for oh, you. Oh, there was a, um, a pig. There was a cockerel. There was a turkey. Uh, crab. Um, <laughs> you can't just say it now you can see them. That's true. Cheap. <laughs> so uh, on the left hand side here, There's and we're lobster. going into it in a second, is Club Orange. Oh, so that's where, uh, another sweet venue, isn't it? Yes and no. Okay. So if you're in Neptune or Pinnacle, mm -hmm. you can eat in there and it's open for breakfast and dinner. They don't do lunch. No. Um, but you can also pay, no matter what class you're in. Okay. Um, I think if you're on shorter cruises, it's $25 a day per person, and I think it's $15 if it's a longer cruise. Yeah. Um, and then you can eat in there as well. Is, I'm guessing, right, okay, so you can book that on the ship. I don't know if you can book it in the ship or you book it in advance, but you can definitely upgrade to it. Okay, um, some opportunity, yeah, if it's available. When we first got on, one of the bits that they, they did was a cooking demonstration they in did, here. yeah. Because you'll notice that there's extractor fans above the tables. Mm -hmm. When they first launched the ship, they used to run cooking classes in here. Yeah, but now it's They don't anymore. And what they told us was that they source local food as well when they arrive. Yeah, And absolutely. then offer it on that day, which he, when he said about when they, to... to Go to France, yeah. they get all the French cheese. So that means if you get off, you don't have to go hunt down cheese because you can get back on the ship and, and it will and be available. Some, we had Dover Sole on the day that oh, we were on there and so it was absolutely good. delicious. So good. But I think, you know, having looked at it in there and I looked at a couple of menus for, for what they were doing in it, I probably would pay to do that if we weren't in a suite. You would? Yeah. Oh, there's me again. I, I tell you, are you following me around? One of the other specialty restaurants is Rudy's. Yes. Um, you will be familiar with the term if you've ever been on a princess ship, mm -hmm. but this is within the Carnival Group. Yes. So it is the executive... Director chef person, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. But they were just putting a, a new installation up, so no, I didn't go in. No. I didn't want to get in the way. No. And again, art gallery just below there's two other oh bar. Uh, that, i'm off to find the bar now well i come point. back and you've ordered the world's biggest cocktail at that bar <laughs> which you and lizzie lou were sharing <laughs> lizzie uh, lou travels yeah it was if you've ever seen barb and star at villa del mar we like had that. the cocktail yeah. <laughs> out of a shell rather than a fishbowl i'll come back to the other restaurants i'll go talk about oh, in sorry. a second no sorry. it's all right um because we're in this one this is the pinnacle grill oh we hit, we're it, in here this is where we had lunch um, and this is their steakhouse. Yeah. We didn't oh, have nice. steak. That's what we had over. No, and it was a very lovely venue. Look at so. you. You're like, oh, there's a bar. I'm, I'm so staying happy here now. A... I don't even see you. That's weird. You do. You just saw me there. Uh, I said, I'll be back soon. Oh. Um, the other two restaurants, the Sushi and Tamarind. Yes, no, now. I did find them and you, you didn't. <laughs> no, I, I, I apologise to everyone watching the ship tour that I didn't go into there. I did know that we were there, but I had to go down it a day was, to come back up, and I forgot to go back up. It was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I said to you afterwards, and, oh, did you manage to film it then? You went, no. No, Justin filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. I would go there. It's really lovely. And the bar, the sushi, and the, uh, and the cocktail bar, wow. It looks incredible. Uh, beautiful uh, views. So you, use your imagination. Apparently there's a really <laughs> stunning <laughs> sushi bar on there. And, and restaurant. Uh, well, oh. When we go on, I'll, I'll make sure that we, We've got book we, it, we do the we full We keep saying we're going to, but we need to book it. We will. We will, today. We'll book one today. Ooh. So by the time people watch this, we, we will have booked. already booked. Yeah. Because <laughs> we kind of know which one we want to do. We've got Isaiah's we, one. We've just got to double check it. So, yeah. yeah. By the time this comes out at five o'clock on Sunday. It's convinced me. We, we will have booked it. Yeah. Especially as they've got an off one for one pound deposit this weekend. <laughs> that was so <laughs> uh, dangerous. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, 
the area that we're in now, we were just in BB Kings, which is one of the music venues. But yes. this area is known as the Music Walk. Yeah. So they've got them on all of this class of ship. Yeah. Now, I've got to admit, I, I'd heard about the Music Walk and I and I was really pleased because they were playing some really classic rock tracks when I was in there. So my inner rock chick was very... Yeah, we had happy. some Def Leppard as well. I, it's just, I... I loved it. I just didn't realise it was going to be as foody on the day, which <laughs> yeah. ticks a lot of boxes for me. It does. The area to the right was the Rolling Stones lounge, and yeah. the one to the left was the yeah. Billboard yeah. bar. So cocktails, music, food. Entertainment. I'm, I'm, I'm in. And if you then wanted a book to go lie down after you've had all of those things... And just... You got a little library. Oh, that's nice. Never saw that either. <laughs> well, you now didn't get past where you were because that bar area I come back to, and you're still there, and that, that's where we go when we get off the ship. That cocktail bar was fabulous. They do have a book exchange there as well. So if you've got a book and you want to, uh, you've read it and you want to swap it out and take another one home with you, you can do that. Home? Yeah, it's a proper book exchange. Oh, that's nice. So, but there's also a library where you can just borrow it yeah, while, while you're on the ship. Yeah. So this is the um, deck two entrance to the world stage. Okay. And a little bit longer walk into than yeah. than up there. Yeah, this feels very familiar. Whatever ship you're on, there's always a corridor. There is on the top one, as you notice. I just walked straight into yeah. it. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen any bathrooms so. though. There were just a little bit further back before we came in. Okay. Oh, and, and, and this is nice because you don't end up on, on the actual entertainment area, <laughs> unlike on Sphere Class on Sun Princess. Yeah, where you, if you're not careful, you walk straight into the stage. Yeah. Uh, but, again, nice. Yeah. So, it's, it, big this area. is a thing now, isn't it? How they do it. But it's, whilst it is, you've got two entrances into it, it's not like you've got that top tier above. No, no, not at all. And here you are with you. We are. And we're, we're sort of coming up. To cocktail time. To meeting you for a cocktail. Yes. But yeah, the, this is the end of the tour. I, I love it. We're booking it. We are. The first impression was very good. Yeah. Well done, Holland's America. New stand down. We, we, we're in. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Lynn. Cheers, darling. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> One of those. Uh, one of those, thank you. You don't have to down it, you know.